This meme is incredibly funny. You're Charizard. You're Charizard. You're Charizard. I'm Charizard. Are there any other Charizards I should know about? Bam. <laughs> How's it going guys? Welcome back to another episode of It's All Relative. Today we are going to be doing something a little bit different. At least for the start of the episode, we are going to do unboxing. I finally bought a monitor for myself. Right, this is the brand. This is a Singaporean local brand, so I finally have a monitor for my room to, you know, watch TV and also edit and stuff like that. So, here's what we're going to do. We're going to do a real quick unboxing before we actually start doing any Pokemon Go in the remaining of the episode because my head is tilting too much right now. I don't understand why. Let's do the unboxing right now. Alright, here we go, guys. Ugh. You know, I've been waiting for a monitor for the longest time and now I finally have one. I've been thinking about getting this brand and they're having a sale, so that's why. By the way, this video is not being sponsored by Prism, so if it's being sponsored, I would want more stuff, by the way. Okay, here we go. Oops, things fell off already. As you can see, some of the stuff already dropped off onto the floor. Uh, we have like these metal kind of legs and stuff, which I'm not going to use because I'm actually going to buy an arm to attach to the back of the monitor, but it's not here yet today, so I guess we're going to use this for the time being. Look at that, look at that. So, Prism Plus, that's the brand. Again, not sponsored. But, uh, here it is. Ugh. Oh, baby. Look at that. So, what I bought was that I bought the 27 inch monitor. Um, it's a 27 inch 2K resolution monitor because why not? And, you know, I've been wanting to get a very much better quality monitor in the longest time, so. Here it is. I hope I don't drop this. Ta-da! Looks nice. The monitor screen's a little bit matte color, so it doesn't actually give too much of the reflection kind of things. I'm not sure if I would like that. We'll see, but I think for a time being, I'm gonna power it up and then we're gonna see how it looks like. So I set up the monitor, as you can see, it's, it's right there, but the thing is, this is not the final setup because obviously I'm going to have like an arm behind the monitor. Right now it has its stand which I am not going to be using because number one, I want an arm so that I can swivel my monitor from here towards my bed when I want to play the Switch or PS4. I'm not sure if I'm going to set up PS4 here yet. But yeah, so monitor, laptop, editing, gaming. It's going to be great. Alright, so here's the situation. We have... <clears throat> Uh, what do you call it? A monitor mount or something like that? Yeah, it's a monitor mount. It looks just like that without the very bad lighting and... Can you guys see it? Yeah, okay, cool. So this brand I actually got from uh, one of the, uh, you know, cheap website place and stuff. I'm not sure if it do well, but I heard people saying it's good, so let's give it a go. There it is. There it is. Look at that. Monitor arm mount. Okay, so I didn't really actually have time to record when I'm fixing this up because oh, I guess I was just too lazy perhaps, but here it is guys. We have our monitor with the arm. So the arm is right here. You can see there's a lot of cables like running at the back, but check this out. So basically you can like shift this down, shift this up. I don't want to push it too much right now because I guess I just pushed it. <laughs> but basically, yeah, you can position this quite nicely uh, just above your, your monitor, I guess, above my laptop here so I can watch my shows and uh, do my editing and stuff. Like so, and the best part is this. So because my bed is here, right, uh, what I can do about this is that I can swing this to the side. I can swing this to the side, right? And then, just like that, I can watch a movie or play my Switch here or something. I'm going to install my Switch and connect to this guy here. So, yeah, very happy with this guy. Okay, Pokemon episode. Let's start. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. It's all relative and if you're wondering why am I wearing a mask? Well, Singapore is currently in the orange zone of the safety hazard thing. So yeah, um, a lot of people is not happy about it because, well, a lot of people is actually panicking in Singapore because, well, the coronavirus thing is really getting out of hand. So yeah, for me to be outside, I kind of have to wear a mask. So hope you guys are okay with that in this episode. Um, but yeah, let's proceed with the episode. So here we have, we have Serena here. But the thing is, I'm trying to complete this takeover continues uh, casting to get Raikou and stuff but I had to win three leagues 
uh, three league battles against another trainer. So one way to do that is something that I haven't ever tried in this episode yet, which is to do a battle. So um, I haven't done any of this yet, to be honest. So this is my first time trying it. So let's try out basic rewards. Okay. And I'm not sure exactly what Pokemon to use because obviously I don't have the best counter for anything in that matter. Uh, but we will try our best to see what we can get. I don't know what moves I have too. I just need three of them and after that we're gonna battle Sierra just because, well, Sierra now has a brand new Pokemon. I'm uh, not sure which one is it, is it? I think Sierra has Beldum, if I'm not mistaken. So Beldum is gonna be able to be uh, shiny and it's a, you know, shadow Pokemon. So Is it weird that I'm talking but yet you guys cannot see how I'm talking because you can't see my mouth. You guys can't tell but it's actually going in the park right now and there's a lot of people so it's a little bit noisy too but here we go. We have our first battle. Uh, okay, Mornferno versus a Dust Clops. Now I'm not sure exactly who's gonna win this battle. I think I'm gonna lose most likely because this Mornferno looks quite strong in this case. So uh, come on Dark Pulse. I know I need to, I shouldn't be using Steelix for this but hey, if he has another fire type Pokemon I'm kinda screwed. Okay, here we go. Okay, this is not good at all. I'm not going to use a protective shield for against this guy. I hope water pulse. Oh wow, that is not good at all. Hey, our Rampardus is doing a lot of work. Damn, guys, Rampardus for the win. Okay, let's see if we can try to... Okay. Dude, Rampardus for the win. Wow, just by putting Rampardus in, we're able to take out two of his Pokemon just like that. Okay, second battle. We're gonna be using Cresselia because, well, I heard Cresselia is actually quite good in Great League. Well, if anything, Cresselia is very tanky, so that's good, right? Okay, we have a Hitmonlee, which is going to die by my Aurora Beam. Why is this guy blocking everything, man? I don't get it. Do you really have to block everything? Okay, last Pokemon is Omastar. Okay, perfect. So here's the thing guys, we actually do not have a Thunderous yet so after this we're mostly going to be trying to see if we can find a Thunderous somewhere and then hopefully we can get in the Pokedex and uh, there's a lot of people walking by just looking at me playing Pokemon Go right now. Okay, I did not think that I'll ever be using a Registeel in a PvP but hey, Registeel is actually quite strong here. Like, come on, look at that defense. <laughs> here we go. This should be no problem because, well, Cresselia is Psychic type and then that is going to give us advantage here. He's going to try to bait me with the power up punch. That is the problem here, guys. Okay, shiny Registeel. Nice. Wow, this Registeel is very tanky. Like, seriously, man. Oh, damn, that hurts. That hurts a lot. Okay, guys. Like one to one right now. I'm a little bit afraid. Oh my god, this is bad, right? This is bad, right? I don't know. I don't know. Can Rock Fight take down Lapras? No! Guys, I was so close. Okay, why is everyone using Laprases right now? Like, this is so annoying. Is Lapras a main. I think Lapras is one of the meta right now, right? Guys, we have our last Pokemon against Taurus. Okay, cool. Should be no problem if I can get my Hyper Beam out. If I can get my Harper Beam out, there we go. What is this one? Yes, okay. That's three battles down, guys. Alright, cool. Alright guys, so here we have, we have Sierra. I think Sierra is using like Beldum, I'm not mistaken, but in terms of what else she has, I'm not sure. Okay, I have too many things in my bag. Okay, I don't know. We're just gonna give it a try, okay? I don't know what she has and I really really need to find out from this. Okay, here it is. Beldum. We want the shiny Beldum that is also, uh, you know, uh, darkness? Shadow. Why, I keep, why I say darkness for? Okay, let's go. Here we go. What's next? What's next? What's next? Lapras. Okay, we're gonna use Power Up Punch. Basically, we're just gonna spam Power Up Punch as, as much as we can. Okay, last Pokemon is Alakazam. Should be no problem because uh, we have two more Pokemon after this, so yeah. The question is, can we take down the Alakazam with just a Lucario? That would be interesting. Don't hit me, don't hit me, don't hit me. Okay, it's fine. Here we go, guys. We defeated Sierra in one shot. Easy, no problem at all. Uh, now we're trying to find out if it's a shiny Beldum. And it's a... Oh. Why is it not a shiny, guys? So after this, we're going to be looking for a Thunderous. Uh, hopefully, we can find a Thunderous in town because, well, there should be a lot of gyms there, right? So, yeah. Personally, I don't know how does it sound like if I'm speaking like this. Does it sound right muffled or something? But uh, I guess I will find out when I go back and edit this video.
Hey guys, so we found a tornadoes and I guess, uh, well, you know, most of the shop today is going to be on benches, I guess. Alright, here we go guys, we have a tornadoes here. Uh, it cannot be shiny obviously because it's the first time it's being released. So we're going to be able to take it down quickly, I hope. Um, what type is it? It's only a flying type because it's a tornado, so it's a wind, you know, obviously it's flying, right? So after this, we actually have a couple of new Pokemon that we need to catch. I will show you in a minute. To be honest, I wasn't able to find a legendary Pokemon uh, when I was hitting the MRT. Uh, it's just that one of the stops that I was at, suddenly I saw this gym and I was thinking, okay, I gotta get off this stop right now. Like, seriously, I can't find any tier 5 eggs anywhere. Must be the virus. Even tier 5 Pokemon or tier 5 legendaries are scared of the coronavirus too. Maybe it should be wearing like the mask too, like me. We have finally defeated our first ever tornadoes. I'm not quite sure what is the CP, max CP in this case. 1843. I don't know if that's 100%, but we're gonna catch and find out, okay? So here we go. Tornadoes. Oof, man, this guy looks. This guy looks quite cool. Alright, no playing around. We're just gonna use Golden Rest and figure out how to catch this guy. Okay, first throw is excellent. That's nice. That's nice. Alright, okay, here we go. One. Two. Can we catch you on the first ball? Yes, we can. Yes, we can. First ball caught the tornadoes. Ooh, that was fairly simple, guys. Fairly simple. Okay, so 1838. It's terrible. Holy crap. Alright, so we're gonna look around and try to find more tornadoes, obviously, for the next mm, 15 days, I'm guessing. Uh, yeah, so we have our first legendary. Okay, so. In the meantime, here's a few research completed that I did like a couple of days ago and we have a Woobat. So Woobat obviously is the February's, um, how do you say, research complete task thing. So yeah, brand new Pokemon again. And to be honest, just now this morning, I was able to hatch like a lot of 7KM Pokemon because right now there's like Riolu and all a bunch of um, Sinnoh Pokemon that can be shiny, which is the Hippo Pokemon and Riolu. Both of them are yellow shiny, so that's kind of nice too. So I actually hatch a bunch of them, and one of them is actually a brand new Pokemon. After, I'll show you after this guy because obviously I have a lot of new shiny, uh, new a lot of new Pokemon. So Wubat is one of them here. Oh, nice, 420 man. I don't know why I just did that. <laughs> oh, uh, the one that I hatched recently is this turtle Pokemon. Oh man, this turtle Pokemon is so cute. I did not know that it, it exists inside. Was it a 7 km egg or something? Uh, let me double check again. This turtle Pokemon is from a 2km egg. Wait, is it a 2km egg? I can't remember. Maybe I'll watch the clip again to know if it's a 2km or 7km or 10km. I can't remember anymore. So, yeah, Tortuga. In the meantime, I'm going to hatch a lot of 7km eggs, which is, as you can see, another 1.7km ago. Then hopefully we can get a shiny wheel. Alright guys, so currently we are at Clark Key. That's going to be like a night show. I'm pretty sure with all the boats and stuff. But before that, we have a couple of eggs to hatch. So let's get that started right now. So here we go. First eggs. I think I'm going to put my camera down somewhere. Man, Tyke. Oh my god. Why is this even in the egg pool, man? Okay, so I think we have like a whole bunch of eggs. Wait, no. Is that just one? Oh no, we have 700 meters to go. Uh, Alright, that's okay. Um, I will see you guys in 700 meters. In the meantime, we're just gonna walk around Clark Key's Riverside area. I think it'll be nice to just take a look around. My apologies guys, yesterday's filming got cut short a bit uh, at the end of the night uh, but that's okay because I think we are about to hatch the 7k eggs that I was talking about in the previous clip uh, yeah, here we go, so it's a brand new day already yesterday night I just gotta cut short everything um, 7km eggs, I think I have like 6 of these and real loop, but I want that shiny guys shiny real loop is what we're looking for and we did not get it 557, five, okay this is decent honestly, what's up? Ugh, 
got if it was a shiny gibbo that would be something 615 is i can't get a good gibbo like until now i just give me a shiny <laughs> wow oh my god anyway so yeah we did not get a shiny riolu obviously we did not get anything significant except for this tornadoes uh, there's only one tornado so here's the situation guys in singapore people are going nuts since the singapore government has raised the how you say the status health of the coronavirus thing uh they are currently in the orange zone which is well people are panicking basically so everyone is thinking that oh it's world war three it's the end of the world people gotta stock up and stuff so Technically speaking, if you are looking, if you, how you say, read through like Facebook or like the news and stuff, you see that a lot of people are going to grocery stores, like buying all kinds of toilet paper, rice, anything that is like preserved products and stuff. I don't know why people are overreacting. Like seriously, if you are a Singaporean and you live here, your res residence here, Jack, try not to panic, guys. Like coronavirus is bad, I know, but as long as you're healthy, you're drinking water, you're taking care of yourself, you're wearing a mask when you go out, you will be safe. You will be safe, okay? Just try not to stick around like people who are sick and stuff then you'll be fine all right so no need to go out and panic buy because that's just gonna make things worse and creating mass hysteria okay so i'm sorry that this episode suddenly made a turn into this one like coronavirus thing but i just want to make an awareness okay guys so anyway uh if this is the end of the episode i hope you guys enjoyed it and i'll see you guys in the next episode so because february has a lot of events uh, you know a lot of future events like especially valentine's i think there's gonna be shiny chancy and stuff so yeah subscribe and tune in to more episodes in this channel take care guys i'll see you guys in the next time